Davis across the 35. And Hawthorne tackles him. The Texas players don't like it. And look out here. This is a hundred-year-old rivalry. The Baylor players have come up. They've run from the Baylor sideline. This could get ugly. A flag flies. Coach is getting in to break things up. Hand off for Ward on third and eight. And Ward leaning forward. Flags come down. Oh, there's punching now. Yeah, Finnegan and Andre Johnson going after it. Both of the helmets were ripped off. And we may have even more action. Oh, it's continuing. It spills over. Well, it's gotten ugly. Sherman and Taylor Lewan somewhat calmly talking. And this was way late. Mariota getting to the sideline, and he's into the white when Sherman launches and hits him. So it's a good call by the officials. But if you ever have any doubt about how people feel about their quarterback, look at Taylor Lewan immediately into the face of Richard Sherman. They're going to take care of Marcus Mariota. And one other thing, Mariota may be soft-spoken, mild-mannered. He's as tough as they get. And he bounced right up and went right back out onto the field. Now, they remember, he's already got one unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Does an unnecessary roughness become the second one that leads to ejection? That's a question. There's a lot to sort out. I don't envy Ron Torbert's crew today. This is a tough one so far. Look at the line in there protecting his quarterback. Touchdown catch of the year. This one should be returnable for Dontre Wilson from a yard deep. And he's collared as he crossed the 15-yard line. And let's check in with Holly. Well, his season has not gone as planned for Devin Gardner in his first time as a full-time spotter. Uh, Holly, I'm going to have to interrupt you. We got a big time battle going on right now the officials trying to separate everybody well, Dontra Willis better go find his helmet and he's one of the freshmen and you don't want any of this because you don't want to lose key players the head coaches are out there Tyree Mario Manningham fluky plays this time after all the stuff of these two weeks and then a scrum of course here you go flags uh, so you'll have an ugly ending to what was a pretty terrific ball game. Well, a lot of frustration out there. And, and the guys in blue. You know, yeah. from Seattle standpoint, whatever. From New England standpoint, you're 18 seconds away from a Super Bowl championship. So with four seconds remaining in the half, they're going to throw the deep ball and look for the big score. Incomplete. Both teams running over into that corner and look out now. You've got too many bodies and not enough supervisors. Flags are flying everywhere. You've got to maintain your composure. It's a close game and you don't want to give the other team an advantage on a stupid mistake. 
Yeah, this is one that really James Quick, the, the wide receiver, kind of made this happen. He didn't like the way he was defended. Really good defensive play by Phelps. Him to the ground. Watch the back end display. Good job by Phelps there to knock it away. Now Quick grabs him and throws him on the ground. And that's what got Quick. Well, this was bound to happen. And now Lou Holtz scrambles out on the field. And now both benches start to empty. He knew this was going to happen sooner or later. Uh oh, Justin Miller and Matthew Thomas are getting into it. And this is this is an ugly. Who's the idiot that took his helmet off? I mean, this is ridiculous. And I applaud the way the ref allowed it to not fast foster. But right now, you got to get police control in this. You got a clench here. Yeah. You got to get police control. Yep. And uh, now. State police are out there on the field. Now there's more going on in the end zone, and now the state police have cordoned off the end zone, trying to. Well, they need mace. You got to get now. You got to get the sauce in. Uh, 32 out. South Carolina has just gone after Dwayne Coleman after the Florida International. This is the third quarter and a point after touchdown, and some extracurricular activity starts, and it gets completely out of hand. Just disgraceful. You know. Hard to say who started it, Mark, but it looked as if the Florida International players instigated it. Then it got escalated by both sides. And the key is coaches should be out there, but I want you to watch this. Number 26 is going to come flying in with his helmet off. Anthony Riddick, keep an eye right here. There and he is. somebody. You take away a scholarship, you you suspend them for the season, that's it. That's unacceptable under any circumstances. It's not allowed in college football. That's it. He's on the bench for the rest of the year. Larry Coker should take his scholarship away. Now, a lot of guys have been ejected.